SLR Magic Anamorphic 50 has been on the market for a while and it's still in production, meaning you can actually buy or replace one without much fuss. It is relatively small and light and has a 62mm thread size on the rear and a 77mm in the front. It has a focusing option that is not a very Doppler system, but a simple focus with near and far position, which is way too imprecise. It is actually a bit picky with taking lenses and we had very different results with different taking lenses. On full frame, using the whole sensor you can get as wide as 50mm. The adapter with the taking lens alone is a crude dual focus, but as 1.33 stretch factors produce less astigmatism, focusing the adapter is much easier than with projector lenses. Which is why we use double focus in our test, meaning we couldn't rack focus and focus a set to the frontal position. Keep that in mind. You can immediately see that the SLR Magic Anamorphic 50 produces very bluish and distinctive horizontal flares. A 200% magnification reveals decent sharpness, but nothing close to something like the ISCO, even though 1.33 has less astigmatism than 2x. Racking focus shows that bokeh looks, as suspected, very spherical. Ramping the iris shows that the large entrance pupil of the SLR allows you to shoot wide open. And what a bad idea that is. f2.8 would be our recommended maximum. The SLR works very well and the flares give you a somewhat anamorphic vibe. You can focus the SLR to quite close objects during the near position. We achieved 50 cm. On smaller sensors like Micro Four Thirds it benefits from the shorter focal length that creates a deeper depth of field. We found it to match quite well with Micro Four Third and the Lumix Vario G 12-35 that covers starting around 22mm. And because that combo is super low profile, light and flexible, you can use it to shoot in situations where anamorphic lenses are usually not a good idea. Like we did here, taking it on a roller coaster. When the SLR's own focus is in the right ballpark, out of focus does actually work, which can be helpful when shooting in such environments. The flares are actually the best reason to use this adapter instead of shooting straight spherical. The blue is very intense and the flares look inelegant compared to other options, but as always it depends what you're going for and if you go for popping colors in something psychedelic, it can be exactly the flare to look for. At the time of the release, the SLR was sold for around $500. We will put links in the description.